Hi and welcome to Van Life Devotions. This week, two years ago, Lisa and I motorhomed around the coral coast of Western Australia. It was a fabulous trip. We were snorkeling in Turquoise Bay, which is about 1300 kilometres north from Perth, when I started to feel quite breathless. So I decided to swim back. I was only about 100 metres from shore, but breathing through the snorkel became exceedingly difficult for me. I started to have what I thought, at the time, a panic attack. Nobody else was at the beach, and Lisa, well, she was already under the water, and she couldn't hear me. I had no other option but to swim back. It was so difficult, and so I frantically prayed to God for help. Eventually, I made it to shore, and it had calmed down. Soon afterwards, Liesl swam back, totally oblivious to what had happened to me. I put it on a good face and kept quiet as I didn't want to spoil her experience of seeing turtles at the amazing reef. Actually, I didn't say anything to Liesl for the next week, even though my breathing became exceedingly difficult. It was only when we were on the plane going back to the Gold Coast that I confessed to her how I was really feeling. She wasn't impressed with me at all. We arrived back late afternoon and we went to Gold Coast University Hospital where they admitted me straight away. After much testing, the doctor said that I had had a heart attack and asked when that may have happened. I immediately thought of the day that we went snorkeling. Fortunately, I only needed a couple of stents put in, but the procedure revealed that an artery going into my heart was 99% blocked, causing damage to a quarter of my heart. I was very fortunate to be alive. During the following six weeks of recovery, I came to the belief that God saved me and granted me a new chapter in my life. Now, I don't take this lightly and, and I still don't take it lightly. He saved me and has given me a new chapter. Of course, the purpose of the heart is to pump blood to every part of the body. Blood carries oxygen and other important nutrients that all body organs need to stay healthy and to work properly. It is the heart that gives us life. So, it's not surprising that the Bible mentions the heart a lot. In fact, over 700 times. In most occurrences, the heart is used symbolically, such as the great commandment of loving God with all of our heart and mind and soul. When I was recovering at home, I was reminded of this passage from Ezekiel that seemed so appropriate for me then. And I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit in you. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. I certainly learnt lessons. Look after your heart physically and spiritually. If you don't, both will be taken away when you least expect it. If you believe that your heart isn't in good shape, do something now to get in shape physically and spiritually. And remember, God is into healing and restoration. He did it for ancient Israel repeatedly. He's done it for Christians over many years. He did it for me and he can do it for you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for saving me physically and spiritually. Thank you for your promise to give to anyone who call on you a new heart and spirit. Help me to have a healthy and responsive heart. Oh God, preserve us who travel. Surround us with your loving care. Protect us from every danger and bring us in safety to our journey's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.